And we do lead off here tonight with driving Tampa Bay Ford and this crash that has a local father sounding the alarm. His teenage son killed in an accident along with his friend. And tonight that father says even more crashes are happening at the very same intersection. Jake Peterson tonight with his call for action. We have a significant public safety problem out here. Dan Powers is starting 2019 with a familiar fight. We need to put a traffic light here. His teen son Matt and his friend Chase Cornier were on their way to a homecoming dance when they were killed while making a left turn on a State Road 64 near Pope Road. The most recent state stats show at least one crash on this stretch for each month of 2018. Now Dan and his neighbors want FDOT to make safety improvements in 2019. FDOT has already made some temporary safety changes. They closed the left turn lane on the State Road 64 and they plan to install a roundabout, but that could still take months or years. They also sent us a statement, which in part says FDOT is currently evaluating the intersection for a potential longer term interim improvement until the roundabout is constructed at the intersection. That isn't the answer people like Powers want. But everything seems to be reactionary. Uh, not just on this road, but all the county roads. Powers points to this crash that happened just before Christmas. The impact sent the car almost right into his son's memorial. It was a gut punch. I just want to make sure nobody else has to go through what we've gone through. Nobody deserves to, to have to go through what we've had to go through. Neighbors plan to petition FDOT for more safety measures on the road in 2019. Reporting in Manatee County, Jake Peterson, ABC Action News. And this story is why we are committed to driving Tampa Bay Ford and you can help us. If you have a traffic concern, call us the number on your screen, 866-428-6397. You can also email us driving at WFTS.com.